What's going on? What's going on? Friends, family members, and all you other motherfuckers that's out there. Yeah. All right, all right. Check it out. Check it out. All right, I got a homeboy that uh, we follow each other on um, Facebook, Instagram. And uh, so he uh, he built consoles, you know, he's starting out building consoles. You know, he hit me up in, the, in my inbox like, uh, J-Man, uh, Jermaine, can you uh, show me how you hook up, be hooking up your switches to when you do your consoles to, your, to the different things, like to the windows, to the door locks, sunroof, anything with a function. They go up and down, back and forth, side to side. All that stuff is controlled by one motor, meaning... Every window has a motor. Every um, lock has a motor. Every seat got a motor. And the motor do different things. The motor going to go up and down, front to back. All right. So I was like, yeah, yeah, bro. I, uh, you know, we video chat each other one day. So we uh, we did earlier today, and I have my little setup. So I said, you know, I know somebody else out there want to learn how to do this. So I was like, hey, you know, let me do a quick little video on how to uh, show people how I hook up the relays to my LED switches. Because it take a relay. The relay is what actually give you that um, difference in your function, meaning left and right or up and down. So you got a relay connected to one side of the um, motor and the other, re other relay is connected to the other function. I'm not side, but function. So one relay is connected to the motor, make the motor go up. The other relay is connected to the motor, make the motor go back, make it go down, make the window go up, make the window go down. All right, so this is how I do it. I'm gonna start with the power. Well, you know what? I'm gonna start with the actual relay and the switch and tell y'all, you know, what's on the back of them. So this right here is a relay, a five pin relay. You need the five pin relay to do to do this one. You got. At the top, going down the middle. Yeah, at the, at the let me see if I got it. Uh, yeah, at the top, everything. I'm going from right here, going down. So at the top, going down the middle, we got 87. In the middle, we got 87A. And at the bottom, we got 30. To the left of 87A, we got 85. And to the right of 87A, we got 86. That's your five pin relay. Now, the back of the halo switch. The back of the halo switch, you got five pins. Same thing. N-O, I mean N-C, N-O, and C, usually going down the middle. And to the left or right of those, you got the positive and your negative. N-C, I think, I don't really, I don't know what, I haven't looked up what they stand for, but N-C, I'm going to guesstimate stands for N, uh, normally closed. N-O, guesstimation, stands for normally open. C, stands for common, which is ground. And then you got the positive and your negative. All right. So to what I usually do when I'm hooking these up, the first thing I do, my power, I'm running both 87s on the relay to each other. Combine them together, going up into, on, on this particular one right here, the 87 would be this yellow, this yellow one right here going to 87. So I used to take and I combine both my 87s together. And with that coming from my switches, I take the positive and the C common, and I combine one with the two different switches. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. I combine six wires together, both 87s from the relays, and the four wires coming from my halo switch are both my power wires and both my Cs, my common wire. Both all. Six of these wires going to 12 volt supply power. I combine up into one 
combine all six of these to one one wire and i run it straight to my power which my power is over here I, this is right here is a uh i think it's like a a 12 a 12 volt this right here is the 12 volts yeah so that's what it takes to run uh anything in a car 12 volt power supply so you go my 12 volt power supply so all six of these wires once again you got positive c coming from your halo switches and both 87s coming from the relay going to your power. Second, ground. My ground coming from the relays, once again, is going to be 85 and 87A. From both relays, 85 and 87A. Combine all four of these wires together, which I got on here, and all four of them combined coming out to one, gonna be my ground. Once again, from the relay, we're taking 87A and 85. 87A and 85. Four wires combined to one, going to the ground. That's only coming from your relay. Third thing, the function. Up and down, left and right, open, close. All right. From your going to your function, to the motor, coming from your relay, we take number 30s, but it ain't number two wires. And number 30. Basically, like I say, go to your function. This right here, you know, it got two pins. It's a, uh, it's one's a, one's a negative, one's a positive. If I hook a positive and negative over this, it's only gonna go one way. It's gonna go, the, the, the motor gonna turn just one way. But with the relay, with this function, you gotta go up and down, open, close. So that's why we take number 30 and hook one up to your positive line and the other from the one relay and the other 30 hook up to your negative line from the relay going to the actual uh, motor function. The last thing is the switch function. What makes the motor do what it do? Like if you look at this uh little piece of uh tape on I got on the motor. If I punch this one, see I go it's going around this way. If I punch the other one, it's going around that way. So, and the way how you make that happen, coming from the, the, the switch function, you take both 86s from your relay. Once again, 86 coming from your relay, and you hook that up to your switch. On your five on your five pin on your switch, you hooking 86 from the relay up to the NO. 86 coming from your relay, go to the NO. On your switch again, the NC you never use. I usually snip that off, snip it short. You're never gonna use NC. I haven't ran across nothing where I have to use the ENC. So, you know, you don't have on this particular setup with the function up and down, open, close, left and right. ENC, you don't use it, just snip it off. That's what I usually do, I just snips it off. All right, so if I run everything back with you, coming from the power, the main thing really is your relays. You have to have relays, because you can make this, it can work but it's only gonna go one way. Either open and it's gonna stay, with, when you punch it, it's gonna stay to try to go open. So main things are your relays. Power from the relay. You hook, go take both 87s from your relays and you combine them together. Take both 87s from your relay, combine them together, run that straight to your power supply. 
second the ground you take 80 from your relay 85 and 87 a from both relays combine them together and that's your ground going to your going to your uh, you know to the car so like just say if the, you know you're doing this in a car you could take your ground and you run that to the uh, chassis anything metal on the car that's the ground and your ground your, your car is all ground so once you got a battery hooked up to it that's your ground fine just take the uh take your scuff pad scratch the uh paint off and run this you know run the wire the ground to the chassis of the car that's gonna be your ground so you're taking four wires 85 87a from one relay 85 and 87a from the other relay Combine them together, that's your ground. Third thing, motor function. Motor function on the relays, you take both 30 wires. And the motor function, what I'm talking about, like I said, once again, make the, go to, make the motor either go this way or that way. Either this way or that way. So you take number 30s and you connect it to the motor, which is basically going to be your negative and your positive. That's the difference in the function on your motor. You hook 130 up from one relay up to one, either to the negative, and you take the other one from your other relay, number 30, and hook it up to your positive. Last thing, switch function. From the switch, I mean, from the, uh, from the relay going to the switch, just like how we did from the relay going to the motor, from the relay going to the switch, we take both number 86s. 86s going to the NO. NO. And one NO from one switch make it do one thing, the other NO from the other switch make it do the, the go the opposite way. And that's the you know, reason why you need relays. Cause the relay is the, the, distri distri distributing the power to where it need to go. Left, right, up, down, open, close. There you go. So if anybody got any questions, um, want to you know, want me to need me to break something down to you personally, you can always just uh, get up with me. Give me a call. 773-603-5139. Or if you just want me to do it for you, you can send it to me and I get it done. Be back at you. Peace.